Well, good morning. We're here this morning with uh, Scott Mosley and Emily Ransom, and they're coming to us from Alexandria, Virginia. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Hey, Jim. Good morning. Emily, I'll talk to you first. Um, when were you first diagnosed with your cancer? Um, I was first diagnosed in June of 2003 with leukemia. Okay, and Scott? I was first diagnosed uh, when I was at a very young age, so around 93 with brain stem glioma. 1993? Around that time, yeah. Okay, so that's 10 years apart. Yeah, right? big difference. Yeah. So Emily, when did you first find out about uh, camp? So like I said, I was diagnosed in June. It was towards the end of June and camp takes place in August. Usually that's when it always did um, back in the day. And I would say it was a pretty quick uh, introduction for me from the nursing staff and um, just um, the doctors at the hospital too. They dropped some yearbooks on my bed and told me that I had to sign up for camp to come to. You had to. I had to, as soon as I possibly could. Did you want um, to? Well, to be honest, I was initially hesitant because the whole world was very new to me, the whole world of cancer and all of that kind of stuff. And my initial fear was that it would be, you know, just like a bunch of beds lined up with kids who were sick, just kind of lying there and just kind of moping and feeling sorry for ourselves. Um, but I had a great friend who I met very quickly at Camp Santa named Samantha. And excuse me, at the hospital, I met her and she convinced me to try it out. What did she say to you that uh, changed your mind? <laughs> well, essentially she told me that she signed me up. <laughs> she said <laughs> she went to a nurse who actually treated both Scott and I um, named Shira, who many people know. Um, and she told Shira that her and I wanted to go to Camp Santa. <laughs> she told me I couldn't get out of it, that I had to just try it out. That's at least great. One Thank goodness I did. It was great. All right, let's wind the clock back 10 years. And Scott, you're at that uh, decision point too, I guess. Uh, someone has told you about Camp Tecumta. Yeah, well, it was definitely a little bit different for me. Um, I was already in remission. And so it was years later uh, when I was back at the hospital for my visits, talking to the different hospital staff, different nurses. And uh, they all they all told me that when I was near seven years of age, which is the first year you can go to camp, uh, that I had to go. I had to check it out. Um, so for me, I was definitely a little hesitant as well. Didn't know what what to really expect. Um, but I just went ahead and decided to go one year, my first year, and I've loved it ever since. I'm what going was back. That, what was that first day like, Scott, for you at camp? Were you a little apprehensive at first? Well, for me, it was. Um, very weird because I didn't know anybody, of course, my first day. And uh, it was also my birthday. I turned seven on my first day of camp. Oh, wow. So I didn't know anybody. And they had a big birthday party for me. They had a cake. So it was just a very, very big surprise for me. Nice. That's a, that's a memorable birthday for sure. How yeah. about you, Emily? What were your first days of camp like? Wow. I'll never forget um, one of the first things when we first arrived at the camp they take all the suitcases and like throw them off of this giant bus. And it's like this huge pile of suitcases and all these people were walking around that year um, was Isle of TKT theme. So it was like tropical island theme. So there's all these people in like grass skirts and all dressed up in these costumes offering to help grab my bags and bring my stuff. And I mean, it was definitely overwhelming experience and, and it just immediately people are like there joking with you, laughing with you. I mean, wow. It's, wow. And so you guys went to camp from that point forward, did you? What year are we talking where you guys met at Camp Tecumta? Well, I guess technically we met in 2003, which was my first year of camp. And Scott, <laughs> was that your first year as well? No. No, my first year was actually 98, 1998. 98. So you're, uh, you're a veteran at this point. <laughs> yeah, I got the full, the full 7 to 17 year experience. I've been right. in camp for a long time as a camper. Well, I see. So a friendship is made for life here at Camp to Compta. We've heard those stories a lot uh, this week. Um, how did you guys meet? Well, I would say we were always friendly as campers together. We were in the, the same age group. We did a lot of activities together. Um, but we probably didn't really start being really close friends until we were both staff members, cabin counselors. Uh, Emily was youngest girls cabin counselor. And I was the youngest boys cabin counselor for a while. 
and we were CITs. That was when you yeah. know things were really different then. But of course, you can imagine it's it's um, an incredibly uh, close connection you make with people in in one week of time, and the stories and the memories are quite incredible. Um, but then, you know, back in the day when we were first going to camp, it was just one one week of the year. You know, now it's really expanded, but we really just had one week of the year. So then we went back on our on our journeys, and I lived in Burlington, and Scott lived in New York. So, uh, you know, we had that connection during camp time, but. When, once we got technology and we could we could stay in touch, then definitely. And um, I guess it was at Camp Holy Cross at that point, was it? Yes, yeah, it, it was, was indeed. The, uh, the older just, location. <laughs> just for our other campers that are listening in this morning, just to put it into perspective. Um, yes. Emily, how did camp change your attitude towards life or your perspective on things? Wow, I think, I mean, like I said, it was so early on in my experience right when I went to camp, and I feel like that's such a blessing. I know a lot of people were so hesitant to go. They might have taken a year or two to get there, but um, I'm so grateful that I was pushed to get there because it just reminded me that there is life after this diagnosis. And you look around at Camp Tecumseh, and you almost wouldn't even believe it was a camp for kids with cancer because... Even even the kids who are on treatment, it just it's just not the vibe at all. It's such a upbeat place, such a fun place, and and wow, I mean, it just it made me realize that life is what you make it, you know. Yeah, Scott, how about you? What uh, what kind of memories do you have at camp, and and how it changed your outlook? Um, for me, I think it definitely shaped my outlook in life a bit because of the unbelievable bonds that you, you form with counselors, other friends, other campers at this camp in such a short amount of time. Um, it really is, it's only a week long program in the summer, but within that week, it feels like eternity. And you, you really are able to let your guard down and form these very strong emotional bonds with people for, for your entire life. Mm -hmm. And speaking of those emotional bonds, you guys, I don't, I don't think, think it's any secret at this point that, uh, mm -hmm. What will you, you tell us? What happened last month with you guys? Uh, last month, I had proposed to Emily. So we're, we're going to get married some, at some point. And I said yes. <laughs> did, I would hope so. <laughs> so yes. I haven't set a date yet, but that's it's kind of a weird time for that, huh? Yes, yeah. that is true. But we're hoping the, the fates will align and the magic will come true that we can get married at um, current Camp Tecumseh. That, that, would would be, be that would be our dream come true. It and hopefully be. many people listening will be able to join us for that special event. <laughs> I'm sure they will. Hey, tell yeah. us quickly on how, what, uh, Scott, what was the proposal like? Or Emily, too. What, how was the proposal presented? Um, well, Emily and I like to do a lot of camping. Uh, it's one of our hobbies, hiking, camping, being outdoors. Um, so it was just, just one night. It felt right. We're at a very nice campsite. We're on the lake. We had a we had a tent site out there on the lake that was pretty private, and uh, you know, one night I just I just talked to her and talked about our life together and asked her. Yeah, that was it. I'm proud of him. Yeah, just like at Camp Tecumseh, we do love camping. It's it's in our it's in our bones. <laughs> Another camp romance. Very good. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Scott right. Ransom, thanks for chatting with us here this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. No it's Scott Mosley and Emily Ransom here with some great stories about camp, soon to be wed, and uh, details to follow on that. Yes, okay. that's the next interview. <laughs> Congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. For now, it's Jim Gratton along with uh, Scott Mosley and Emily Ransom here in Plattsburgh. It's cool to send a kid to Camp Tecumseh. Maybe they'll come home married. <laughs>